Hi, Peter Hudson, Head of Training and Recruitment at the World Golf Teaching Federation and founder of YGO. We've just completed um, our uh, evening training session and uh, we were working on the basics, as we've told you. Um, the three that we picked out were inside quarter of the golf ball, um, um, pinprick aim, and our language. So I'm going to very briefly touch on these three aspects uh, for you and how you might use it to help you. The single biggest mistake, that you, instruction that you would have heard or you would have repeated yourself is hit the back of the ball. If you do that literally, then you will be probably slicing the ball. Certainly poor contact, certainly inconsistent contact. In actual fact, in pure technical terms, that ball should be approached about one dimple inside the ball to target line. But as far as we're concerned, it's the idea that in actual fact we're going to try and take our club head to the inside quarter of that ball. Now that will not happen but just by attempting to do it, all sorts of things will happen in your golf swing that will be closer to the one that you require. Again, if you, if you want to join um, our uh, sessions, then you'll find out these things in detail. But if you just take this one thing, attempt to hit the inside quarter of the ball, you will experience some changes and some very interesting things. And if you want to email me about that, please do. The second and most important thing is pin prick aim. It's this idea of picking a target so small, so far away, and actually connecting to it. Fred Schumacher really uh, was very powerful in introducing uh, this to me. Um, and I think another part of this is the ability, how that shapes the detail on which you prepare, how that shapes your rehearsal swing that we talked about last week, and then eventually how you let go and allow that to happen. There's some really great tricks that we cover in, uh, within our sessions that will help you in that. And the third one is really very much a, 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 almost a life coaching type idea. And this is, the, is how our language affects our performance. So you could say, you know, I've been putting poorly all day, or you could say, I've noticed that uh, I've left one putt short and as soon and the next one I hit long. I wonder what I'd have to do to get the correct pace today. You've approached it in a totally different way, a logical, analytical way without the emotion, therefore far more likely to find the answer that you're looking for. So listen to your language. Notice when you're negative. And, you know, I'm not a tree hugger. I'm really not. I'm, I'm about turning emotion into feedback and from once we get it into feedback it's far easier to see how we can go forward and progress so thank you for taking a couple of minutes out uh, if you want to know more um, go on the website or call me uh, peter on 07939 584 010 i look forward to talking